Welcome back. Well, the Christmas parade here in Bakersfield isn't letting the COVID blues get them down this year. Here to talk all about the changes for the virtual parade that is happening is the event's president, Greg Kronk. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Good morning. So why don't you just start off telling us about this Christmas parade that's coming up? What can viewers expect? Well, I truly have only seen but a handful of the submitted videos myself, but some very creative folks around town. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about those videos and who is contributing to the parade? Uh, those, again, those that I know of, we have uh, the uh, Bakersfield Police Department, the Bakersfield Fire Department, the Mayor, Kern County Fire Department, Cal State Bakersfield, um, a group, forgive me uh, the, the name, but the group of ice skaters uh, from the local ice skating facility. So it's quite a wide range. Definitely getting the whole community involved. That's it. And could you go into some details about when this parade virtually will be happening, how people can see it, all of that? Well, it is truly with the efforts of 23ABC. It's on all their formats. Um, it will be on December 17th, uh, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. is the last information I have. Um, and looking to go um, nonstop, if you will, so commercial free. Um, it's 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 truly been a, a, a tremendous effort. Again, kudos to 23ABC for putting this together. Um, we um, made the decision in August or thereabouts uh, to have to put it onto a video format as the, the way the wind was blowing, so to speak. It did not look like we were going to be able to host our typical parade. And uh, we pulled the trigger to go ahead and put it on a video format. Um, some other options were discussed, drive-bys and such, but when we're talking of, we've hit as many as 20,000 spectators and we knew there was no place that could accommodate those numbers. So again, we made that decision and um, have pursued that ever since. And what has the you guys making this happen during the pandemic? Does it feel good to still be making something happen even if it looks pretty different from past years? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's to the efforts of all the the past committee members, the past presidents, um, big, big um, a thank you and awareness to, uh, you know, Harvey Hall uh, was a very, very strong um, believer in the Christmas parade, and we want to carry on that legacy. Um, there's also been so many volunteer uh, not just committee members, but uh, businesses that have helped us through the years because the parade in and of itself does not, by entry fees, does not come close to paying for the parade. So without those sponsors' uh, participations, we, we, would, we would have difficulty. Definitely. And we're almost time, but I just really fast want to ask you, what do you hope the community gets out of this year's parade? Well, uh, first and foremost, we want to make sure that, and, you know, it's there for those that are, you know, it's for the kids, or as I said, those that are young or young at heart, but, you know, it's a family event. It's one of the biggest family events in the community, and it was our goal to keep this, um, keep this happening for 2020, despite all else that's been going on. Definitely, despite all those challenges. Well, Greg, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We cannot wait to see how this parade turns out. Thank you again. Uh, thank you so much for your time.